Hey everyone, welcome back to another Supreme Drop List. This will be for April 23rd. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so right now. I'm new to YouTube and we could really, really, really use your support. So hit that subscribe at the end of this. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. And if you have any comments referring to what you may want to be copying or what you win after the drop happens on Thursday, let me know. So let's begin. This is quite an interesting drop, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it kind of threw me off. I was looking at the two combinations that we have. I'm gonna go through the MLB section, which is pretty small. Uh, and then I'm gonna go with my Bloody Valentine collab that they did with Supreme. And we'll see which ones I like and which ones I don't like. So let's get to it. All right, so first up, the Supreme New Era MLB Varsity Jacket. I think these jackets are dope, especially if you are into baseball. Vaughn into the windup in his first offering. Just a bit outside. He tried the corner and missed. Ball four. Ball eight. This is a sick coat. Definitely going to stand out if you're at a baseball game. Uh, as far as the coloring goes, we've got it, it looks like, in a blackout color, a navy, and an orange. The blackout isn't my favorite just because it's very difficult to see the patches that they've added to it. And I think this is a pretty detailed jacket, so I would probably go navy first, orange second, then black after that. Uh, it looks like we've got some matching hats to go with those jackets. I mean, hey, why not go all out, right? Get a hat and a jacket just so you have that full on combo. And we've got the same colorways, the navy, the blackout with the orange. Uh, it looks like we also though have that box Supreme logo and that's my favorite logo that they have. I would probably for this one go with a more subdued hat, which is the blackout. And that's pretty much it for the MLB New Era. <laughs> section pretty limited on that. All right, so moving on to the My Bloody Valentine collaboration. This is an NBC News special report. Hey guys, this just ends. Supreme once again keeping us on our toes. We just got hit with another large amount of items that they're gonna be dropping on Thursday, which is great because we have more items to play for. But of course, I have to add this into my video that I was already editing for you guys. It's already fire, but hey, we're just gonna make this a bit longer. So hang in there with me. Let's go through the rest of the list, shall we? All right, so I see this like puffer coat and it looks like it's got fur on it. Supreme, what are you doing? It's almost summertime. Like this is a winter coat. I'm not rocking this in the summertime. Sorry, gonna have to say next on that. Uh, we've got some more hoodies that are coming out. These look more basic with some matching shorts. Um, I don't know, I'm not as big of a fan because it looks like the Supreme hoodie has the actual Supreme logo on the hood, which I don't know, I'm not a fan of spending this much money. If you can't see my Supreme logo, you're probably not gonna be able to see that on the hood. Comes in a couple different colors. We got our camo and uh, it looks like some pastel summery colors, a yellow, a kind of peachy salmon looking color, a blue and a light blue. And we've got the shorts to match those. Next up on the list, we've got t-shirts that say top of the world, uh, Kath Mondu, and it's got the Supreme logo in the center of that saying. I don't know how I feel about that logo, but I mean, it's got some nice colors. We've got a cream shirt, it looks like kind of like a teal dark blue shirt, um, a light pale like salmon red color and black. Then we've got these mid sleeve uh, shirts here. They look like it's like a baseball shirt. Um, it's got a dog with its tongue sticking out of the jail bars uh, with the Supreme logo on both sides of the arms. Cool, I guess, if you're a dog fan. I don't know, maybe not for me. Uh, then we've got another in that same style shirt. Looks like it's got the same Supreme logo on the sides, but I don't know, it's 
going on in here? It's like a ripped wall, flower plant thing. I don't know what that, what that is. It's like something that's coming to life. I have no clue. Uh, yeah, probably not gonna go for those styles. Uh, the first shirt with dog comes in yellow, a light blue and a black on the arms with white in the center. And then the second comes with black in the center, purple, orange, and black on the arms. And then we've got another t-shirt coming out. It's the Supreme logo with a star. I actually like this one. Uh, it comes with different text that, or the text is the same on each t-shirt, but the coloring of the text is different. I really love the hot pink and gray. I think I'm gonna go hard for that. Then we've got like a navy with a blue text, white with black text, orange with a purple text, and black with a yellow text. Uh, then of course, hello, highlighters. We've seen you before, where were you last time? Trying to win you. So hopefully this time, Supreme will actually bring us a lighter so we can play for them, because I really want one of those. Nice, simple, it's gonna be probably affordable, like I said in my last video, because it looks like it's plastic. Uh, we've got some coffee mugs coming out. You better believe I'm gonna play for those. We got it in clear and in red. I'm gonna play for both of those. Uh, looks like we've also got some Hanes wear with the Supreme logo on it, a basic tank top with some basic white socks. And then, I don't know what's going on with these pants. They kind of look cargo pants-esque slash snowboard slash jogger swish pants. Not sure I wanna buy this for the summertime, but hey, I mean, maybe you don't like wearing shorts and you like wearing heavy materials during the summer. Those could be for you. Uh, looks like those are coming in the cargo pant style in red, teal, um, kind of like a pattern here. They almost look like French fries from afar uh, and black. Then the jogger pants look like it comes in a uh, orange, navy, camo, black, and kind of a fuchsia color. So that's what's up, guys. We are trying to keep you up to date, and this looks like the full list. If they give us anything else, damn, that's a lot of stuff, Supreme. Uh, so here it all is. My top picks from this list are going to be the Supreme Star t-shirt, the lighters, the mugs, uh yeah those are my top three from that list that's been updated so let us know what you cop on this thursday oh and uh happy 420 everybody with supreme for those of you who do not know this band uh like myself i didn't really hear of them actually until i did a bit of research today which i'm going to go through they influenced a lot of future bands later on that I now listen to or have listened to in the past. Uh, this is an Irish English band. They redefined what noise meant within the context of pop songwriting. The group released several EPs in the mid 80s. In 1988, they recorded the era defining isn't anything a record that merged ethereal melodies with shimmering distortion. A rock band that coined the British term shoegazer. So they were kind of motionless when they were performing. They didn't really look at the audience. They just basically stared at their instruments and looked away. And that's where that term came from, shoegazer. So Loveless, which is on that hoodie, was an LP which broke new sonic ground and was hailed as a masterpiece. My Bloody Valentine was influential in the direction of 90s alternative rock. Kevin Shields was actually born in Queens, New York. Shields' family moved him and his family to Dublin, Ireland, and when he was six, he was then a Dublin local. So in his teens, he became pretty obsessed with pop. Um, in 1984, Shields and Ochocio formed My Bloody Valentine with vocalist Dave Conway and keyboardist Tina. So taking their name from the slasher horror film. Oh yeah? Well, I got a valentine for her that she's never gonna forget. <laughs>
Right to the heart, huh? Which is where that My Bloody Valentine came from. Later, they added bassist Debbie Luge. Um, they're known for their air, they were known for their airy melodies with grinding guitars. Conway left and then was placed by Belinda Butcher, who had breathy vocals. And she was kind of more of a fit for this band's evolving sound. The band was pretty much compared to Velvet Underground. If you're a big hardcore Supreme fan, those were two other bands who did collaborations with Supreme in the past. All right, so it looks like we've got an interesting uh, My Bloody Valentine trucker jacket. If you're wondering where that image of the face came from, that actually was the cover of one of their EPs, Feed Me With Your Kiss. And that had the lead single of the band's debut album, isn't anything. And that's also shown on uh, some t-shirts as well. So if you don't feel like you want to invest in a more expensive item, then they've got it on a t-shirt as well as the Bloody Valentine rayon shirt. And so it looks like we've got those both in multiple colors. So the Valentine Feed Me With Your Kiss Tea comes in a black a gray, a seafoam green, a white, and looks like a powder pink. And then the bloody Valentine rayon shirts comes in a blue, a pink and reddish color, and a greenish color. Almost kind of looks tie-dye, pretty cool. And then we have the My Bloody Valentine glider tee. So glider is actually a technique where you glide the guitar strumming while holding down the whammy. Angy bar, it just causes this, these beautiful swells. Instead of just going, you know, I got to, that really creates all these juxtapositions of tone. So that's where the term glider came from. Actually, I'm really kind of a big fan of the image that they have on here. They've got these tees in black, white, and a seabone green, as well as that powder pink. Definitely a big fan of that. The My Bloody Valentine hooded sweatshirt's pretty dope too, with the Loveless on the back, which I mentioned earlier. That comes in a black, purple, that looks like a light gray. So those are pretty dope as well. All right, so let's go through a few of the bands that were influenced by My Bloody Valentine. The Edge from U2. Highly influenced by them. Coldplay. Okay, Oasis. So Smashing Pumpkins actually hired an engineer from Loveless to work on album featuring the hit 1979. Florence the Machine was influenced by them. Uh, so yeah, these are some great bands that I currently still listen to. So very thankful to have had uh, My Bloody Valentine become such a you know recognizable band and i think it's great that supreme has now done a collab with them now let's go back through all the items that we've already gone and discussed i'm going to go through my top picks i think the first two items are definitely going to be in the mlb section i actually think that that's a dope coat i would probably first go for the navy then the orange after that i would go for the black on black hat and then after that, the orange one. 
As far as the My Bloody Valentine hooded sweatshirt, that would be probably one of my top go-tos in the My Bloody Valentine uh, collaboration. I would probably go for black first, then that gray after. And then my next favorite is the glider t-shirt. I really like that pink. I think it's nice and subtle. And then I love the seafoam green. So those are my two selects in the colorways for the t-shirt. As far as the rest of the My Bloody Valentine collaboration, I'm not such a huge fan of that face on the t-shirts, the jacket, or the rayon shirt. So I'm probably gonna pass on those. But anyways, thanks again so much for tuning in to another Supreme Week launch. Um, we are actually, for the first time, going to do a live cop, let you guys see what I actually go through on the Thursday that Supreme launches all of these items. And we will keep you posted as far as updates. Oh yeah, going back, almost forgot to mention what we copped from last week. We were very successful. I was able to get two of the black skateboards, yay. And I got the sale t-shirt in white. So pretty successful week for me. Let me know if you guys actually were able to cop anything from last week. I haven't got any emails yet, unfortunately, as far as shipment goes. So if you guys are worried out there, you're not alone. We all are still awaiting confirmation on those shipments from Supreme, hoping to get one this week and want to be able to show you those items for next week's launch. So stay tuned. Once again, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet, as well as comment and hit that thumbs up if you like this video. Talk to you soon. Bye guys.